Today's Morning Minute, long life, long life. Scripture has a different view on how to obtain a long life versus the world's view. We find that wisdom, reverence for the Lord, humility, and self-discipline with your words will bring a long life while seeking his kingdom and his righteousness above all things. And we read in Proverbs 9, uh, verse 11, wisdom will multiply your days and add years to your life. Proverbs 10, verse 27, fear of the Lord, reverence of the Lord, lengthens one's life, but the years of the wicked are cut short. Proverbs 13, verse 3, those who control their tongue will have a long life, opening your mouth can ruin everything. Proverbs 17, verse 22, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit zaps a person's strength. Proverbs 22, verse 4, true humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honor, and a long life. Proverbs 28, 16, a ruler with no understanding will oppress his people, but one who hates corruption will have a long life. Proverbs 13, verse 14, the instruction of the wise is like a life-giving fountain. Those who accept it avoid the snares of death. Proverbs uh, 16, verse 21, gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained by living a godly life. And in Luke 17, verse 33, if you cling to your life, you'll lose it. But if you let your life go, you will save it. And in Romans 8, verse 11, the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. And just as God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, he will live, he will give life to your mortal bodies by this same Spirit living within you. Jesus asked in Matthew 6, can your worries add even a moment or extend your life? No, Jesus says, to seek First, the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you, which include longer life and more days. It is the abundance. He is the abundant supplier of all your needs. God loves you. He died for you to bring you into his family, your eternal family with your father, daddy, father. He loves you. He's made you righteous so you can stand in his presence in relationship with him, in an intimate relationship with him. Amen and amen.